All right, guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to actually scale a services consulting or a coaching business. And I wanted to make this video because I get this question a lot. People will email me or message me or they'll comment on my stuff and they'll ask how, I wanna scale my business, how do I scale my business? And a lot of times when people are asking this, they don't have the pieces or they're not even ready for that stage of, of scaling. So I wanna answer that today. And I'm also gonna show some examples. I'm gonna talk about some, some well-known examples that you probably know of and just walk through the process, okay? So if you like this video, you find it useful, make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my future videos. So what is scaling? Well, scaling a business is really just the duplication of a case study. And a case study in its simplest form or simplest explanation is you help somebody, and or it could be yourself, you, you helped yourself get some kind of fantastic result and you documented that result. So there's a before, there's an after, there's some kind of vehicle or method that you went through, and that's the case study, you're documenting that. If you don't have a case study, this means you don't have a niche, you don't have an offer, you don't have a process or results. And this is why newbies and beginners have the hardest time is because they're still hunting for the case study, all right? so. In order to scale or be ready to scale a business, you need the case study because scaling is just the duplication of that first case study. So this is the progression. You get a case study by working one-on-one -on -one, or you become your own case study. And the reason you do one-on-one -on -one is because you're working directly with the business. You're not teaching them, you're implementing some kind of system or process or funnel or whatever to help them get a really good result. And the only focus is getting that first case study. If you don't have that case study, you can't. there's nothing to scale. So you get the first case study, the easiest way is to work one-on-one -on -one because one-on-one -on -one is where you're gonna get the best results for somebody, either as a done for you, which is usually where people start, or a done with you, like some kind of consulting, or I call it the hybrid offer where you're doing a little bit of done for you and they're also doing some stuff. And so all you're focused on on step one is getting that first case study. If you don't have the case study, then don't even think about scaling. That should be your, this should be your only focus. Now, once you have the case study, you create a protocol that details how you got the results in the first case study, okay? So you create, you display the case study and the result, that's like usually your headline, and then you detail the steps on how you got those results, right? So the three to five steps that you took, the, the protocol that details how you got the result. Okay, and then what you do is you market and sell the heck out of it. You market and sell the protocol at scale to businesses and people who are similar to the first case study. Now, who are some notable names who did this? Well, you have Hermosi, Alex Hermosi. He did this with gyms. So he first started off as his own case study. He grew his own gym and then he flew out to other gyms and he helped other gyms grow one on one. So he would go and fly to these other gyms and spend 30 days with them and he would implement his protocol in their gym, get them results, and then fly out to the next gym. So he went with his own gym first, other gyms one-on-one, -on -one, and then he created the gym launch protocol. And he's, he's smart, he's, he calls it the licensing thing, but really he's just selling a program. And he sold the protocol at scale to, I don't know, thousands of businesses, and he grew it to 30, 40 million, whatever it was. And so that's a perfect example of one. He's probably the most prominent example that you would recognize based on name. Sam Ovens also did this with consultants. So he had his own online consulting firm. I think he was working with like plumbers or something. And then he taught other people one-on-one -on -one and in small groups how to create their own online consulting firm. And then he created consulting.com and he created his protocols and he sold those at scale. And now he's focused on his uh, school software platform. Russell Brunson, he did this with online entrepreneurs and creators. So he used funnels to grow his own marketing ventures. And I know he's had various different ventures. Then he created click funnels and his funnel building protocols. And he created an entire like cult like following around funnels. And then he sold that at scale through his books and through his softwares. So there's a lot more stories like this. Many of the top entrepreneurs have gone through this same process when building not just like their service consulting or, cons or coaching business, really any business. It's finding that first result, that case study, and you're creating a protocol around that and you're selling the protocol at scale to other businesses and people like them, okay? So this is why the, the case study is so important. If you don't have the case study, there's, there's nothing to scale. Like how are you gonna get people to buy from you if you don't have proof from the first thing? So 
What does it look like when you take the case studies and you turn it into a protocol? Well, I have a few examples. Here's one. This is one I created earlier this year. And so you can see here, this is like the case study or the result. And then we have some actual case studies of people who went through this. And then we have the protocol on exactly what steps we took to achieve that result. Now at the end of this doc, there is an invitation where I invite the person reading it to work with me to implement this protocol. So this is a really amazing way that these ugly little Google docs, an amazing way to, to scale your business and scale your protocol because I can send paid ads to this. I can turn this into a book and put it behind a funnel, which is which I am doing now. If you go to nosalescalls.com, you'll see that. And you can find more businesses like the case studies who want this result. You can run traffic to it and get more eyeballs on the stock. And at the end, you invite them to work with you. So this was selling a very expensive offer. This is a multiple five figure offer. And people would read through this doc and they would reach out to me through chat and they would sign up for the offer if it was a fit for them. Okay, so this is one example. This is a more recent example that I created. And you can get this from going to seananthony.co, this entire guide. And so this is a new 32 page guide. This documents my protocol on building a multi-million dollar one person business by sending one email a day. And so it documents my protocol. You can see it goes through the steps and same thing at the end, it invites them to work together. I have something called the email rainmaker mastermind, and we just launched this two months ago and the invitation is to join this. Okay. So go to seananthony.co if you want to see this guide here. And if you want to see the first one, you can go to nosalescalls.com. It's now in a book format and you can opt in there. But those are a couple of my personal examples of how I'm, I, I got the case study. I created a protocol around it on how I got the results in the first case study. And then I'm marketing and selling the protocol at scale to other businesses and people who want that same result who are similar to the first case study. Okay, so that is my breakdown. That's the simplest progression here on how to actually scale your business is you get the case study, you work one-on-one -on -one or become your own case study. You create a protocol that details how you got that first case study and you market and sell the heck out of that protocol at scale to businesses and people who are similar to the first case study. Okay. So if you enjoyed this, if you found value, give it a like comment below with any questions and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.